There we go. I think everything's set up. Do main. There we go. Cool. And then put this on shuffle. That should be all set. So yeah, today I was wondering if I should uh, start making some more animations for um, for the live stream, uh, starting with like say the um, the subscriber one, because um, yeah, yesterday was uh, super fantastic. So um, why can't I click on anything? Ah, that's why. I don't know why. But, um, I was wondering for, about uh, some possible suggestions from you guys. I'm trying to think of, uh, while I'm trying to think of what to do for a subscriber animation, um, I should start working on the new model of Puka, which would be based off of this thing. Hey, Polly. <laughs> That's okay, Polly. Uh, that one, um, yeah. So now I've got to figure out of what I want to do for a subscriber animation. Should I? Oh, Genfire! Genfire! Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Um, I'm thinking that I should do possibly my character hugging a Steve, because it. It would be nice if I could possibly get the um, the coding for all of this set up so that I could hug the person's Minecraft character that just uh, showed up in the subscriptions, but I'm not thinking that this is going to... Uh, I don't think that that coding is going to be entirely possible. So... If I if I do a hugging animation for subscribers, uh, for should I just hug myself? Should I hug a Steve? Should I hug a heart? Just a, a pixelated heart comes in and I hug it. Uh, I also need to get myself a muzzle on this character. Ooh, ooh! I need to duplicate this before I do that. Because this character is actually working now. Duplicate collection. In case you didn't see it, hugging heart sounds cute. Yes. Good. I like that. Good. I'm glad you guys agree. Thank you. Um, uh, if you didn't see it on Twitter, I was able to finally figure out uh, what was wrong. So now I can do everything. Take, grab, and scale. Nope. Oh, that's right. Okay. And do, 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 do. There we go. And I was able to get the rig to work properly. It was just a couple options that I had forgotten to uncheck. So now, what I can do with this mouthpiece is I can accidentally whoop in the wrong direction. I can accidentally intersect this with the eye and it won't glitch out. So the eye can be in the mouth or the mouth can be inside the eye. And I can make all horrible sorts of transformations with the mouth and it will actually cut into the model. So that pupil right there is actually inside of the mouth right now. And it has a little bit of depth to it, which is so what I wanted. So now I can literally do anything with this rig. Uh, grab. Um, I think it's the derp face in, um, in Minecraft, where the guy has a bunch of drool on his chin, and he has a very little of a forehead. Let's see here, grab these. This is one thing I wasn't able to do with my older rig, was be able to do this and even go off the map with it too. 
off the uh, top of the face. Bring this, oop, wrong direction, again. Bring this right up here. And it'd be that, that derp, derp craft, uh, Steve, that you, um, that you see so often. So now I can actually do that. The old rig, I couldn't. So let's go ahead and re-put these back where they need to go. Scale. Glebo. Thank you, Glebo, for the for the host. I appreciate that. Uh... <laughs> Thank you very much, Jennifer. Jennifer. -er. Er. Gotta have that extra R in there. Gotta be extra fired. Extra fired up. All right. Let's see if I can actually make a puka relatively quickly. And I think I might be able to. Because this time, I think I can do this right. Um, we're going to... I'm going to select all of this, duplicate that, and bring it on out. And... Mm, shrink it down. Do, 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 do. Actually, let's do it this way. Bop, 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 bop. There we go. Get a little muzzle on this guy. And I think I'm going to pull up a... Um, actually, I should pull up my own person for reference. Tab. Alright, it's four pixels wide. One, two, three, four, four pixels wide. Two tall and three long. That is the relative direction of, of the character. So it's three long. Duke. One, uh, one, two, three. Actually, let's go ahead and pull that out. Thank you, Flexi, for the follow. I appreciate that. Mm, I think I'm going to have to fudge this portion. All right, there we go. And... Ooh, shrink it down. Actually, go back. Shrink it down from here, and that will bring out the pixel measurement. Good. And let's actually go ahead and move this upward. Get ourselves a lower jaw. Duplicate, bring on down. There we go. Ooh, a little too big. Thank you for the follow. Adam. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that, uh, I'm gonna say it in, that, that, that's, uh, that's not what I want to do. I need to get myself this upper portion of the lower jaw to be a little bit lower. Uh, hide. Mm, hide. This needs to come down a bit. Bring you down. Good. Unhide. Mm, unhide. Nope. Alt H. There we go. Now we know what we're doing. Bring one up. Nope. There we go. Upper and lower jaw. Three pixels deep. It looks about three pixels. Four wide, two tall. Good. I think we're gonna need to get the puka skin in here just to make sure everything's the way it should be. Uh, I am not in Hermitcraft skins. Minecraft skins, here we go. Uh, puka skins, here we go. Um, we want faceless and tailless, I think. Do, 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 Which one is it? I think it's this one. This one should be able to give me the ears that I want as well. Really weird. Alright, 
So let's go ahead and get these skins all lined up. And since I pulled it from the actual head, the UV skins should be rotated correctly. I want Puka. Do, 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 do. Puka, blender only. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I already had the skin in there. Alright, grab. Bring you over here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Scale it down. Scale down. Grab. There we go. Now we're now we're talking. Scale up. Mmm, alrighty. We want just this one. And we want the nudes. Select these edges. Grab, bring down. We have actually the lower jaw. And this will be the upper jaw. We have a nose. Things are going quickly. Good. That's the way we want it. Um, too long. Good. Lower jaw. Good. Upper jaw. Three pixels wide. Lower jaw. Good. Top of mouth. Uh, top of mouth. Oh, where do I want to put you? I can't do you all perfectly, can I? Uh, I think... I think we're gonna go with that. Yeah. How did I do it in my original skin? Get rid of all those bones. Uh, my original skin, it's not, not too terribly good. <laughs> you have won five points. Congratulations. Do those points... I, I tried to get those points integrated with the channel points. Is, is that how uh, everything worked out? I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's how everything worked out. Minimize that. Lower jaw. Grab. And I think... Uh, I think I'm going to have to use part of my chest for the coloring of the lower jaw. What is happening down here? What is happening with my head? Hello. Oh. I think my skin is all messed up. And like my actual skin skin. Because nobody else's has that problem. I might need to go into Photoshop and fix my skin. Ooh, file. Let's go ahead and grab that skin, shall we? C. 3D rendering. Textures. Minecraft skins. Puka. Puka skins. Mm, actually, let me give a quick try to something. Nope. This, I want that, and I want the other Puka skin. Puka for Blender. What does the other one do? Oh, good. Okay, good. Yeah, it was my skin that was all messed up and not the model. Thank goodness. Alright. Now, we have that. We have the, the mouth all modeled out. Uh, a little bit. We should... Decrease the size of the mouth just a little bit. So that way we don't look too, uh, overbitey. Because it doesn't look too good there. Um, we want to shrink this. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so it might be in two different systems then. Dang, okay. Oh well. I was hoping to integrate the channel points in with it. I want move cursor to select it. And we're gonna take this whole thing. Hello? 
There we go. I'm gonna take that whole thing and shrink it from the cursor. So that way, this stays in the right position. Oop, nope, wrong direction. There we go. Little bit of an underbite there, good. And sideways too. Mm, a little bit more. There we go. That's what we want. Um, underside. What? This is going to be just a completely different texture. That's just going to be the mouth hole texture. And let's go ahead and grab this one. This one should be mouth hole texture as well. Good. Both the inside and the. Oop, hold on. Nope, wrong one. That one. That one needs to be the mouthful texture. There we go. Awesome. Uh, teeth. We need teeth for this. Go ahead and hide this. Let's duplicate that, and we are going to make teeth for this. Shrink this down again from the 3D cursor so that it can stay attached to the side of the head. Because you don't want things to be kind of floaty. If I did this uh, from from origin point, which normally is how things squish, this back end would be uh, popping out a little bit. We want to subdivide this. Uh, winning games. Or Puka giving you some. <laughs> Oh, you do you do get points from uh, winning games though. Uh, basketball. <laughs> I think this one can actually give you uh, some points uh, if you make a basket. So there's more points for uh, people to uh, get points. Uh, subdivide. Edge. Subdivide. And we want to do this a couple times. Yeah, that'll be good. And then let's do some edge sliding here. We want to select this. Select loop. Edge loops and edge slide. Does that work? Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Uh, select. Select loops. Loops. Good. And then this front one. Edge, select, loops, loops, grab. Nope. It is a double G. Interesting. Good. Now these need to be subdivided as well so that we can have some pointy ends to our teeth. Uh, edge, subdivide. Whoa, what just happened? Not exactly what I wanted to happen. You did not do that correctly. Select, loops, loops. There we go. Hello. before work cool hope uh well we're doing at least i think today well we'll find out let's get some uh, changing of this texture because this is going to be the teeth oh that's one thing i need to do i need to extrude downwards extrude inwards there you go and then these facings let's just take all of that and we're gonna add in a new texture. This is 
going to be called Teeth. Teeth. And Principled. Yes. We want white teeth. Um, a sign. Sign. There we go. Got ourselves white teeth. They're not quite the way we want them to. I want to subdivide this. Edge. Subdivide. There we go. That's what I wanted. Edge. Subdivide. I think it was taking the two instances of what I was doing and creating something completely different, which didn't work out too well. All right. Uh, no longer needs to be local. We need to go to selection or individual points. Here we go. Make that pointy teeth. Make that pointy teeth. Let's make those even, shall we? Nope, I want to go upwards. There we go, we got ourselves some pointy, pointy teeth. Mm, too pointy, there we go. I think you can uh, join uh, partway two. Did you join? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you are able to join, sweet. That's our teeth. Let's go ahead and actually move these downward just a little bit. Because I want a little bit more shape to these teeth. There we go. That's what I want. And maybe these points too can come up a little bit. Alright, all of that. Let's just increase the size just a little bit. There we go. And duplicate this. We want to duplicate this and we want to... Ooh. No, we want don't want to duplicate that. Not yet. Um, I want to hide this. Uh, hide. There we go. Right, and then this, bottom half. Let's go here. Thank you for the follow Follow there, Butch. Butch Dog. Box. We're going to make this teeth just a little bit shorter. Whoops. Don't want to get all of that body. We don't want to adjust that. Alrighty. Delete. Yes. No. What's going on here? Thinking that I'm grabbing onto something else here that I shouldn't need to. Don't know what that is. Delete. Faces? Yes. And I actually want to get rid of these too. Delete. Vertices. Perfect. Good. Duplicate. I want to duplicate. Rotate X 90. Oops. Rotate X. Um, rotate Y. 180. There we go. Now we got teeth for the upper half. And these need to expand outward a bit. And I think... Those should, if I've measured everything correctly, should show out on the outside. Alt H. No, I didn't. These need to. Good job, La Penguin! There we go. Now we got cute little fangs poking out the side here that away and yep you can see the cute little fangs poking, poking out that's what I wanted um, but the teeth are poking out the side of my head here whoops go back on in got to got to change that uh, that's not right A 
let's scale this inward a bit on the x-axis. Nope. There. And then downward a bit. No. This way. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Awesome. Now we have a muzzle. Sweet. That's what we're looking for. And it's only been a half an hour in order to get that muzzle in. Half an hour. Oh, ears. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it in time in order to do this and the heart animation. I'm thinking that I should do the heart animation with the old, old one first. And then continue with this guy. I think that's the way I'm gonna do it, because I gotta do still some poses and be able to do some weight. So I think we're just gonna jump into the animation portion of it because I'm not going Oh hey, that's a good reference. Hey. Good angle. Old versus no. Yeah, I think we're gonna jump into the animation, get that done, and then that way we'll be able to have that behind me, and then I can do some more modeling. Because that's what I named and titled the stream, right? <laughs> oh, teeth! I saw little teeth. Okay. Uh, uh, we need to change the camera. I'm going to go to regular camera over here. And... We're gonna want a hugging animation. We're going to let's get rid of let's get rid of all of this other animation. All right, pose. Delete all keyframes. Okay, good. And keyframes for the camera need to go away too. That way I can do that. There we go. We want a hugging animation. Uh, Puka. There you are. Hair. Get rid of that. Don't need it. Perfect. Mm, top to bottom. Beginning of animation. Squat on down a little bit. Get... Get a little bit of relaxation in those knees. Not too stiff about something. And if I need to do any reactions to come upwards to attention, I have some space to do so. So I need some space. Need some space. We want... What is he going to be doing before the heart comes in? I'm thinking... Well, let's see here. He can either be facing towards the monitor and then look to the right and notice that the uh, heart is coming. Um, that would be simple enough. <laughs> I got something else. I got something else, and I, I absolutely love it. It's gonna it's gonna require even more space. Okay, so. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is I am going to look at the monitor. Uh, the thing that enables us to see what buttons uh, you press on. Oh, yes. Sure. I keep forgetting to put that up. It is a screen keys. Uh, doo -doo 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 display. Oh, that's the wrong one. There we go. Uh, do 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 do. Shadow, background, screen keys. There it is. Do, 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 do. We want individual points. Let's put a relaxation in that tail, too. Alright, so we need... I'm thinking that it would be best if my character was facing towards the camera. Kind of. And then let's have this foot over here. 
and have its posture be on this side. And relax that body just a little bit too. And then put weight onto the left leg. There we go. And move this back. Move this to the side a little bit more, and we need to rotate those elbows in. Thank you, Glebo. Thank you very much. I would appreciate that. Uh, get that elbow in. Yeah, that's good. And this one needs to change its orientation. You need to be this way. No? Where are you? Oh, you're way over there. Okay. There we go. Now the elbow's pointing the in the direction that I want it to. We are going to be facing kind of to the right. And we want these ears to be kind of neutral. So let's go down to um, second neutral. We can either have neutral, neutral two. Let's have neutral. And then bring down these eyes a little bit. We're not too... We're not too engaged into what's happening. And bring down these eyebrows a bit. And bring down these eyes just a tad too. Almost sad. Almost sad. And then that is going to be our start frame. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lee. Thank you. Alright, that is going to be our start frame. And we want to turn and see the heart. So we need to have a couple frames of, of just this. So a couple frames of that. So, ba -ding. Couple frames of this. Uh, let's grab all of these. Whoa, not too much. Nope, not O. Don't want O. O is something definitely we don't want. Alright, there we go. Too quick. Far too quick. Let's go ahead and delete that. Duplicate this in. Let's adjust from here. Put on recording. Auto keyframing on. This this little guy saves me a whole lot of time. Otherwise, um, I've done it before where I've done animations where it's just like move the position, lock rock scale or location rotation scale, and then go to the next frame I next frame I next frame I. This allows me to just. Pose it, and it's already done. Alright, and this eye is going to be... Like so... Like so... Like so. And then the reaction... is going to take about... Whoop. Mm, just about the same amount of time as the uh, initial... The initial before reaction, anticipation as it were. And we need to move our body up a bit. Because we're starting to get alertative. Alertative? If alertative was a word. Ooh. And this time he'll look at the, the camera. Although it not really at the camera. He's just gonna look kind of past the camera. And then this, these, he needs to move from this point, do that first, because we want that, and then open up those eyes a little bit, like, oh, and these eyebrows, these need to 
These need to stay the same until the thing comes in. And we'll have those eyebrows lag a little bit. And then we can be like, oh? Actually, you know what? Question. Question is good. And then we can go from that to neutral too for the ears instead. Quiet already. Quiet already. Mm. Doing fantastic, Nova. We want to go to second neutral with the ears. Actually, yeah, second neutral with the ears. And then what we can do is we can duplicate this and bring this over to here. So, what? Mm, that actually is kind of slow. I have to say. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's kind of slow. I'm going to have to actually uh, reduce that time here. Scale down. There we go. That's what I want. I want something a little cartoonish. And then we need a follow-through of that because that is so quickly done. Mm, we want... Okay. Yeah, there we go. There's that little little um, follow through of that quick animation just with the body helps out a lot. Poor. Good. Good, 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 good. That's what we want. Hmm. Okay. Get some food. Could, it 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 looks okay, yeah. Uh, Lepengo, yeah, it looks look good. But uh, the thing I tend to do, and I always find myself doing this, is that yeah, it looks okay. And then I'm like, how can I make it look better? And then I just fall down this rabbit hole of how can I make that look better? And then uh, eventually I can come out of this hole going, hey, I've made 20 frames. Isn't that cool? <laughs> just like. Yeah, get a little bit quicker there, Jeff. Puka, Puka Jeff, Jeff Puka. Jeff Puka? Jeff Puka. Jeff Puka. Cake is better than breakfast. Sometimes. Sometimes. I enjoy just snacking on plain Cheerios. No milk, nothing dry. Plain Cheerios. <laughs> breakfast, chocolate cake, though. We want Okay, so we have we have the follow through and I think it'll be okay to have another quick turn to the right. All right, so we're going to move all of this over here. So it'll be whoop, whoop. Yep, there we go. Whoop whoop. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Alright, and then the follow through again of that. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I love that. I did, I, I love those little quick quick little animations. And then follow through, good. And then I think we need to have a pause. Pause moment here as we as we uh, inspect what we're looking at to the right. Whoop whoop. And then, I think, I think, whoop, whoop, down, okay. I think it's going to be a little bit like this. I think we're going to have to move our body forward and down a little bit. And then, I'm going to want to get this body into a position where it's going to be a little bit more in the direction that I want him to, rather than being twisted. So... Let's go ahead and move these, and then 
then move them back again. So now our body is positioned in the direction that we want to go. Alright, too, too quickly on that animation. We want to lengthen this out. Oh, there we go. What? That's what we want. We want we want a little bit of a what moment in our body language. Body language is one thing I love to animate. Because it just adds that extra element to what's being said or not said. <laughs> yes, yes. That that that, strug that struggle is very real, the penguin. Uh, just go ahead. Um, if you hit the follow button, uh, you'll be able to make a character. There should be a control system at the uh, right below the stream. While we're doing this what look, what? we want our leg to be coming out. Because this is the point where I want his leg to be actually moving. So we've already decided what we're going to do, but we just want to make sure what we're looking at is real. So this leg has got to come up, up and down, and it's got to rotate out. I think. Uh, let's have this guy be here. Doot, doot, doot. And then we'll just before, just as the leg is coming up and coming back down, we'll change the position of the knee to be more in this direction. Alright. Nope. There we go. That's what we want. <laughs> I just thought of a, of, a, of a cute little action that uh, can be taken. What? So these these guys these guys are fine. They'll just have a little bit of ambient movement here, just a little bit. And then as we turn, we're going to delay that turn. So we're going to take this. These keyframes of the hands, and we're gonna delay this a little bit. Like, quite a bit, actually. And then we can take this guy, bring him forward. And then bring him backwards a bit. I think that'll work right there, so... Mm, no. That needs to be delayed even more. Even more. So much more delayed. And we're gonna scale it from here. Too much delay. Still too much delay. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I think I get it. Okay. I think I get it now. All right, and then back again. All right, we want them to come back, however, so we're gonna duplicate this and bring it over, but we're not gonna want it to come back completely so strong. And we're gonna go a little bit back into the, in the same position. Not all the way, though. So, flop, flop. Give those arms a little bit of a flop flop. Flop flop. Flop flop. Flop flop. Alright, and then we want to actually take these keyframes, and I think we want to extend out these ones here. So these ones and this one. If we extend out these two keyframes, we should get a little bit of the delay in the. Ooh, uh, ew, mm, not so much. No, that didn't look right. That didn't look right at all. Let's try a different approach. Try that. Mm 
Flop, flop, kind of, kind of a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> Sinclair. Blebo. Uh, I watched uh, at the start and when they were earlier, but uh, can't say like, I'm pretty active on Discord. Okay. Do 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 Alright, I think that's not turning out the way I want it to. I'm wondering if I need to bring this outward a bit. And that's what's causing the problem. I'm hoping that that's the, that's the reason why this isn't looking right. Maybe, I think that's, I think that's it. I think I just need to bring these guys out a bit. And that's the problem. <laughs> These are fantastic. All the hugs. All the hugs to everybody. And... needs to come a little bit to the neutral point again, almost. I think almost, almost to the neutral point. And then back again. You want those arms to be almost loose. And then back again here. So, flop, 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 I think that works. Let me take off the bones, see if that helps. Yeah, that works. Okay. I'm looking at the bones too much. I'm thinking. <laughs> right? That's, 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 that's what I was going for, and I was looking at the bones too much, and I was too, uh... Too, too concerned about the bones, and the bones aren't even going to be seen. Almost. Alright, and we're going to want... Do we want to bring this down? Yeah, we want to bring this down just a little bit more. Let's go ahead and grab the hands, too, while we're at it. Global, and we want this come down just a little bit more and we want this to lean in come up there we go and we want these ears I'm actually thinking I'm gonna put these ears into a kind of I have this put down as sad and worry, but it actually works for um, alert. Oh, come on. What's. Oh, okay. That's what's going on. Um, C. Oop. There we go. I had a circle selection going on. Sad and worry. That's what we want. Mm, let's duplicate this over here really quickly. Because we don't want to go... There we go. That's what we want. There we go. Perfect. Let's get a little more action inside of these uh, bones here. Because we don't we don't start moving down until that last section there. And that doesn't help the animation at all. There we go. Perfect. 
Alright, that's what we want. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much for the follow. Now that you're following, you can make yourself a little uh, avatar that uh, can walk around down there. And you can join in uh, mass. You can do join in things like that. Mass dance. Should work, right? Ah, there it goes. Doodly doo doo. Doo doo doo. Uh, we have lean on down, look at. Because we're not, still not sure. We want to make sure that we're looking at an actual subscriber here. So, what? What? And then. We want this, these two, we want these two eyebrows. We want them to be back. Ooh, nope, we're on global. We don't want global, we want local. Local movement. And we're gonna move this back into this position here. And these are gonna be here. And now, what we can do is start narrowing our eyes. There we go. Local movement, narrow, like, uh, making sure. Making sure. <laughs> that didn't work out right. What's happening here? Okay. Hold on. There we go. That's that's better. That's much better. Eyebrows were all wacky. All right, and these eyes definitely got to be expressive too. Like, ooh, I'm looking up, and then before we look over, we have to move our eyes over a bit. Actually, we're gonna make that a little bit sooner. Make those eyes move over a little sooner before we move. <laughs> I love that. I just absolutely love that animation. Look at that. Look at that. Are you sure? There we go. Okay, now we need to get in that little heart. Um, oh goodness, I'm, I'm pretty sure MC Prep doesn't have it. So I'm gonna have to go into another Blender file and see if I can pull out the... Pull out the heart. We want opening uh, projects. Oh no, this is my models. I want other people's stuff. Other people's stuff. Minecraft palette. How did I win? I don't remember putting in the command. <laughs> what did I, I don't remember putting in a command? How did I win? I... I won nothing. Here, somebody else can win something. Uh, Battle Royale. I think that's how you spell it, right? That's how you spell it, good. Yep. Heart. Here we go. Here's the pixelated heart. <laughs> pixelated heart. We want this thing to... Is there any other things from this that I can get? No other types of heart? Um... Uh, 
I'm wondering if I should add a type of effect to this. I think... I think, yeah. Uh, I think there is an effect, but it's actually just going to be more hearts. So... We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab a couple more of these. Just in case I do want something else. Uh, we don't want the angry cloud. We know that's not You're kidding me. I would? <laughs> I won? I've never won that. I won, I won a command that I never entered, and I won a battle royale that I wasn't even paying attention to. <laughs> oh, here, somebody else can get some points. No, 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 no. That's, that's happening again. Somebody's getting some points, dang it. Even though there's nothing to spend those points on, but you're getting points, dang it. I think those are the only three things that I want. So it is bubble, heart, and growing. All right, we're gonna do those. Those two things. No, those three things. We want to file append those. And my models, other people's stuff, Minecraft palette. And we want objects. Objects. Objects, here we go. We want heart. Okay, good. We want heart. Um uh, I can't I can't bring in all of those at once, can I? If I want to be able to find them, I have to bring them individu individually, don't I? Append uh, heart. Bubble, bub, bubble, file, and one more time. Hmm. Basketball? Okay, sure thing. And let's see here, I want the growing one too. You append basketball. All right, these three things. I'm going to put these into the puka section. Here and up. Ooh, not even close there. Three dimensional space viewed through two dimensional space is always wonky. Alright, these are going to stay off screen, and the heart is actually going to be here. There we go. And the heart has to kind of Whoop in. So it's going to be from here to here. And it's got to come downwards a bit. And we're going to uh, rotate it a little bit and then rotate it a little bit more. Actually, on every axis. Whoop. Whoop. And then it needs to have some follow through on this. There we go. Whoa. That's good. I like that. And then... Whoa. Whoa. And then, actually, we're going to go ahead and take this, and we're going to adjust it just a little bit, though. Just a little bit. I like that animation. Okay, good.
And then floating up this way a little bit. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, whatever you do, don't go past 180 or go into the negative degrees. I tried that once, it went straight into the ground. I was MVP. this to we want him to actually we need to get this tail action in here too because in order to be expressive we have to have this tail be um, animated too and there's got to be a little bit of tail animation that nobody can see for a little bit Whoop. in order for that Actually, with that tail swinging around, I got to do the same thing with the with the tail too, don't I? I gotta be, ooh, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Flop and then flop back. And then flop back again. But we're going to be coming downward a little bit with this too. And then flop a final time. And then we're going to be even further downward. So flop, flop, flop. Good. Perfect. That's what we want, but it's a little too stiff. I'm going to show you from this from the back end here. See how that moves? It moves really good. I think it's fantastic. And that's from doing, instead of uh, just uh, from median point, which goes from the most base bone, which would be the base tailbone. I did individual origins so that all of them move, all of them rotate the same amount. So all of them have rotated at least a little bit of degree from their perspective uh, parent bone. And now, I got to delay all of the bones a little bit more, too. So all of these bones get delayed a couple frames or two. Let's go three frames for each bone. So if we go three frames for each bone, we will get... We will get... We should get an even floppier tail. Ooh, that, that's awesome. Look at that. Look at those extra ends of that tail going. Rip, 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 rip. Yeah, that's what we want. That's what we want. There we go. Little extra tail whack there. And now you can see a little bit of that happening here. And just that little extra definitely helps the animation a long way. Alrighty, and now I think I need to get this into glomping on the heart. So sort of, instead of me just normally hugging a heart, I'm thinking that I should just run over there and give it a big old hug. Instead of having the heart come to me, I'm going to go to the heart. Person subscribe, and then run across the screen. Stare down, and then think. Where's the heart? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh. That's great animation there, Puka. Yeah, fantastic. Did you know that there's a mm, problem with forced perspective? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Man, I'm right on top of the heart. Why aren't I touching it? Because it's all the way next to the camera. Herbider. <laughs> Perspective. Perspective. Okay, so I've just done all of this animation. How can I save it? I'm thinking that a good way to do this is... Um, let's go ahead and go into these levels. So, there's, there's, there is a way to save this, and... Thankfully, uh, I, I've been working with a lot of it today on how to save certain types of animations. So, if I change over to... Woo! La Pengue, you scored! I think that's the... So you, oh, so you scored six. Ooh. Red victory. MVP La Pengue. Good job, Red Team. I think we need to go to animation graphs, which this can also be switched between control tab. So, if I go into this and I move this closer to myself, so we want to move on what axis? What axis do we want to move on? Ooh, something's not right here. Let's give this a save just to make sure. All right, so swoop in. We want this to be closer to Puka. So let's go ahead and grab on the Y axis of all of these keyframes, and this should move me closer. Nope, that's on the wrong axis. Okay, that's the, that's the Z axis, my bad. I want the Y axis. Grab Y on the 2D axis. Not right. X axis. Grab Y. There we go. That's what we want. Okay. Bring it a little bit closer. And then Y axis. Grab Y. Okay, good. Um, a little bit too far. Grab Y. And then grab X. This a little bit up closer. All right, that's better. All right, and what do we have right now? Okay, good. All of that animation is just saved too. Now what we want to do is we want to increase its scale relative to itself. So how do we do that? Hmm. I think what we have to do is we have to scale Y on the X axis here. I think we have to scale, actually, yeah, a scale on just the X here. So that it's out of the frame and then when it comes in, whoop, not, not right, nope. We want it to be here. That's where we want it to be. Alright, and grab Y. Let's put it here, actually. Let's put it there. Alright. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Float! <laughs> oh. Oh. Let's see what other people are doing. Uh, an adjustment. Right? That's that's a good strategy, Nova. I like that strategy. Wiggly Fox is one five points. Alright, so it swoops in. Okay, and we want it to be here. That's where we want it to be. So if we have our view on that timeline, scale Y, it should move relative to what we want. So, there we go. All right, and it should be passing through. Good, good. All right, just a little bit more though. 
we want that to be scale Y. We want it to be just a little bit more. Ooh. And then we want on the Y axis to come to the frame that we want to save. And scale on the Y axis. <laughs> I like that. Actually, I might I might use that. So it comes from out of frame, out of frame, swoops in. <laughs> it's like the cart a heart is being a little bit coy. Oh, whose coffee is that? Oh, it's your coffee. Yes. Oh, yeah, I, I was telling um, Sam, I was telling uh, Jen that uh, I really like that cute little fire with wings. I thought that was the best one. She's like, cute little fire with wings. I thought that was fantastic. You're a guy. You're a guy. I like the idea of this, this heart being a little bit coy. It's just like, bump. Hello, and then come on back. All right, now, now we need to take all of the scales. So all of these, all of those need to scale. Actually, no, we just need to grab on the Y direction. And then the heart grows. There we go. And then, whoop, whoop. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go back into the animation and we are totally going to just adjust that a little bit more. All right, Alt-Tab, get back to the keyframes. All right, it needs to, it needs to come back a little bit more. And this needs to come back a little bit more too. Okay, so. <laughs> Okay, hold on, hold on. Not, not quite, not quite. All right, we're got to. Mm, that doesn't work right. Something's happening here. Let's get rid of that keyframe. That doesn't seem to be right. Okay. Oh, that's no, that's because it's moving too quickly now. Okay, this is moving too quickly now. That's why it's being a little bit weird. There we go. That's that's a little bit more proper. Oh, those are all the emotes. Did you make all of those? Hype fire. <laughs> Hype fire. Just Puka Hug attacking the heart out on the way out of the frame. <laughs> that's 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 a good idea. Uh, there's no cooldown on throws, so you can enter a bunch of numbers adjusting. Yeah. There we go. Grab the heart. How do we do this? How do we do this? Do we do a jump or do we do we do we um, pedal our feet on over there? I think we pedal. Do 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 do. Okay, so we need to get those feet in action. And just before just before I start moving again, this one needs to come up. So right about here, right about here is when the foot needs to start coming up. And then... Right about there. So that's where the foot needs to start coming up. So... Doo -doo. And then this foot. And then this foot. 
needs to follow behind it just before the other one touches the ground. So you're in the air a little bit when you're running. And then just before this starts to get extended, this one needs to hit the floor here. Okay, and then stopping the foot slide. Bring this up. And we need to bend that knee in the right direction. So this knee needs to come forward a bit. There we go. Pop. pop. <laughs> Have the face change reaction when you understand what it is. Um, I'm actually... I'm actually gonna have it uh, change uh, ex expression as it's um, as I start to get over to it. So from from here, from this point, right where he starts to lift up his foot, to about right here, he's gonna have a joy face. So from here to here is gonna be the transition of the joy face, and then with his eyes open and then as he's starting to hug the heart the eyes will close <laughs> naruto heart and run into the heart right i could i've been i've been doing a little bit of a floppy uh um, I've been doing a little bit of floppy arms, so I could do that. Just have the arms behind me, and then as I run into the heart, the arms kind of just flop around it. <laughs> I, I'm just so happy when 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 things finally finally uh, work out. I mean, it's 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 a lot like redstone in, in Minecraft. I'm like, oh my gosh, things actually work. So the heart needs to actually get pushed uh, back a little bit as I get over here. So let's see here. We're actually going to lean lean a little bit into it. Um, um, little bit more into it. A little bit more, just a little bit more as we go in. And then, as it comes up here, then the glomp needs to slow down. And the body needs to come up. And then over to the side. There we go. Rup. Not quick enough for my tastes. I think I need to move it a little bit quicker. There we go. And then there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of follow through on this because I want it to be cartoony here, and then follow through on here quite a bit. And continued rotation. There we go. So, put him. Put him. Think. Maybe a little bit quicker? Yeah. Maybe even a little bit quicker on the follow through, too. Put him. Mm. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Just enough. Rabbit killers! Hi! <laughs> there should be some like death themes inside of there at least. I know that the, uh, the block people have uh, a bunch of weapons inside of them at least. The, the, the kind of shape that I have right now. Turtle? Why are you still a turtle? 
Darkened Princess. Darkened Princess. You turtle? I don't see a turtle on here at all. <laughs> Demon penguin. these arms to stay on a new in a Naruto run so we can do that but I think right about here okay we're gonna have to actually make sure that we make this a new run. to run so we can't have uh, we can't just lazily make a new to run if we're gonna want a new to run we actually have to make it work so there we go we got the new to run and then this just here, just here is when this heart starts to um, come on through. I think what I should do, whoops, that's not what I wanted. What I want to do, delete keyframe, is I'm gonna make a duplicate heart here. This duplicate heart is actually gonna be parented to this bone here, object. And then I want that duplicated heart. I want this guy right here. I want this guy to lose all of its keyframes except for the one that it's at. So delete all those keyframes. And the keyframe before, it's actually gonna be a small heart. The heart was inside me the entire time. And this is a cool little trick for um, both game creators and animators is that when you uh, change uh, hands of something, like something is being held, it's, um, it's easy, and, uh, easy to have a little thing inside of another person. So, this thing, however, why is it not parented? Oh, I didn't parent it to the bone. Okay, that's what's wrong. So let's go back a bit. We want it's parented, but it's not parented to the bone. All right. So here, we want to parent it to this bone. That guy. That's what we want to parent it to. So parent bone relative. That's what we want. Now I go to the heart. And then go back a frame, shrink down, put inside the inside of Puka, eh, just for flavor sake. Flavor sakes, let's put it where the heart actually is, right? There we go. Now there's a little heart inside of me. There we go. And then when it comes to this point, the heart comes out. But this heart needs to go from here to being away. So this thing just disappears. There we go. See how that works? Good night, Ren. Oh, you're probably, uh, oh, you're gonna lurk though. Yeah, it gives me time to say good night. Bop. There we go. That's what we want. Pop. <laughs> Burp. There we go. Perfect. And now the other heart is outside the frame, and we want those arms to flop around. So this arm still needs to have the intentional Naruto run at this point. And then the arm starts to flop around here. And we're actually gonna put the hand right here. There we go.
Uh, actually, let's go ahead and start swinging this arm around. So that we have less of a weird... Um, no, let's actually start it back here. So the arm is actually going to start doing it right there. And then it's actually going to come up and over. So around this point, the arm comes over. So thump. That's better. So that way the arm comes up and over the heart. Flump. And then this arm, right as it impacts, can start coming around. So, do do. And here, as soon as it impacts, the arm can start coming around. And we'll want it to end up right here. And move this on back a little bit. And this direction. There we go. Uh, there we go. Move that elbow up a little bit. Good. So then the hand goes flump. <laughs> Blump. But this still needs to change, though. That I knew this was gonna happen. Look at that arm. So it goes from here. Best way to fix that: just bring that arm out. Just bring it right on out, and then that way it goes from here. Ooh, still need to change that. Oof. Let's get that elbow in a different direction, shall we? I think the elbow needs to change direction somewhere around here. So let's bring this downward. And then... And then... Yeah, that's right. Plump. Plump. There we go. Much better. Plump. There we go. Pumpid um pidabum. Pumpidabum pidabum pidabum. Do do do. I love that. Um, this is this is this is the part where I lose a lot of my animation time too. I'm I'm not I'm not actually doing animations, I'm just always going. This is like, is it right? Let me watch it again. Is it right? Let me watch it again. Hold on. I just gotta make sure that it's okay. And literally, I'm just s sitting here just going, <laughs> it's cute. I like how that works. That's where most of my animation time goes to. Okay. And then this foot needs to come out too. And up, and then knee, tonk, and then this actually can move from here to here. Much better. There we go. I think those legs are kind of weird right now. Yeah, those legs are kind of weird. Let's pump. I think we should actually give another step here so that I can stand up a little bit more. So we're gonna put the leg here, and it's just gonna be a small step. And we're gonna move that knee in a bit. And then this one's gonna be yet another step, I think. And it's gonna come on back. Right, so... So, do, 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 do. there we go. And during that time, the body is actually going to be coming up a little bit. Up a little bit, and then up more, right about here. There. Now my legs look like they're in a better position. Let's move forward just a little bit. There we go. Thank you for the follow, Pob. Pob. What is 
does Lurk do? What does Lurk do? I gotta know what Lurk does in commands. That is... Darkened Princess. Oh, it just makes you sit. Cool. There we go, that's what we want. That is kind of a weird stand though, I'm gonna have to change that. And while I'm at it, I might as, well, might as well just change this expression on the points that I want to. So this guy... Don't need that guy animated. Okay, so from here... From here... I want to change the expression. So all of this face stuff... Oops. All of this face stuff, all this head stuff... That is all going to start changing. So, from, let's see here, these eyes are going to open up a bit. So these guys are going to be right here. <laughs> Not quite the, the expression I'm going for, but let's just adjust this just a little bit more so that we can have the proper expression. There we go. And then tilt these eye Ooh, wrong direction. Tilt these eyebrows upward a bit. There we go. And there we go. And then we want this jaw to come on down too. And then these these need to start having an animation too. And then we can smile. All right, get rid of those bones so that we can see exactly what, what's happening here. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. And then we're gonna change our ears. We've gotta change our ear expression too. Do, 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 bring back those bones, and we've got to change those ear expressions to an alert instead. <laughs> Isn't it? I'm glad you think so too. I'm gonna change these to an alert, so we're gonna go from here to there as the change of an alert. Right? And then. And then these eyes have got to look down at the heart, too. So we've got to change from here to there. Okay, good. And then I think at this point... At this point, we're going to have the eyes, and then we're going to... There we go. There we go, that's what we want. Yes, gotta gotta put in the tail too, for sure. Especially din during the Naruto run. Funny thing about the Naruto run, um, there's been so many experiments on whether or not the Naruto run actually helps you uh, run faster. Like, there's been so much uh, study on the on the way that you run because there's really no reason why you need to flail your arms in order to run faster. There really is absolutely no reason. I mean, you can perfectly balance yourself without throwing your arms around. But, apparently, the Naruto run does help you if you're going 60 miles an hour. Fortunate, unfortunately, though, not many of us can run 60 miles an hour. Right? Mr. MatPat, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly where I got my info too. Is uh, is game theory. And then from here to there, this needs to go straight and outward. So 
know. Right? It would make no difference on the moon, though. We'll ever experience in our lives since Usain Bolt, the fastest runner alive, is just barely. 40 miles an hour. Right. That, clicked on the video. Right. It, it, it should have been. It should have been. It's not 60. It's like 40. But is it a ridiculous, ridiculous speed that, like, uh, only. Usain Bolt could even dream of getting to. Okay, so this tail needs to... I think I need to animate the body first before I animate more of the tail. Because I need to figure out what exactly... Because it's not so certain about this. So, Oh, okay, I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. That, that's better. More, too much rotation. Too much rotation. There we go. And then a little bit pause up here. Okay. And then... And then we want to hug it some more, and we're going to do a little bit of a shake. So what we do is do, 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 hug, and then I think what we should do is just some random ambient movement of like this, and a little bit of movement here, and then do that again. So it would be... Hugga, 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 hugga. Okay. We're gonna have to expand that a bit, too. Hugga, 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 hugga. Alright, so right about here is when we're gonna stop. And then we want to put in some more keyframes. Right? Nope. I'm gonna be snuggling it a little. Oh! I should with my head, though. I should with my head. I'm glad you mentioned it, because I wouldn't have thought too deeply about it. Because I was going to... Do just a back and forth hug with it. It's just gonna do a back and forth hug with it. This may be a little bit too quick, and we're gonna find out if it is or isn't. Uh, let's go ahead and see if this is too much. Okay, this way. This way. This way. This way again. This way again. This way again. And this way again. Perfect. <laughs> Our paddle will be just legendary. <laughs> Good job, Ben. Yeah, that's a little too that's a little too fast. Little too fast. And I think possibly a little bit too long. Yeah. Mm, a little too fast, a little too long. So we are going to take all these four. We're gonna take these four animations, delete that, and we're going to take this animation here, and we're going to increase the scale a bit. There we go. That's what we want. Hug a hug a hug a hug a hug. There we go. That's what we want. Mm. Er, how do we do this? I think. I think what I should do is actually get rid of the hug animation for the head. I'm gonna save it here, and I'm gonna actually get rid of the head animation. Um, so I think what I'll do is I will actually bring down my face. There we go. 
then delete that. And then this needs to have the face down a little bit too, still. And then get rid of this last frame. Oops, delete keyframe, that's what I want. Mm. All right, we are going to bring in the face like so. There we go. Mirror. There we go. And then this. And then just a little bit of side to side, actually. Side to side. Because our body is already doing um, some extra animation that we don't need to do. So if we put in little bit just a little bit in face it'll do it'll show up nice and well so <laughs> okay there, there 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 is a little bit of a, something wrong here it, it looks good it looks good I, there is a little bit of a wrong here okay there we go that's what I'm looking for do -do 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 -do. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. It it's it's it, it sounded it sounded odd, right? When I said a little bit slower, I wasn't. I swear, I wasn't thinking in that direction. But yes, it did need to be. It did need to be a little bit slower because it w didn't um didn't feel quite right. Right, that's that's what I'm going for. I'm going for cute. Yeah, go never never send me. Snuggles, 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 snuggles. Oh, that that that's that's a problem. Okay, this is moving down too quickly. I see. Okay, and this needs to actually overtake this keyframe. There we go. That that feels a little bit more. That feels better. Nah, that's better because there was that that quick transition from here from here to there and it just didn't work quite right that's better and then glomp good now the hands need a change because I do have it parented to the chest so uh, the hands kind of move oddly, as you can see here. So the hands actually need to, once they grab onto it, they actually need to look like they're holding onto the heart. So from this point, I need to follow the heart a little bit forward. So follow it forward, good, and then up and back. You follow it up and back. Here, okay, good, good. Mm, a little too quick. There's a little bit too quick of an animation right here. Let's slow that portion down. Okay. Oop, wait, no. I want to slow the portion down. Bring it in the other direction. There we go. And there is a little bit of rotation from here to there. There needs to be a little bit uh, of rotation of the hands. So I actually need to bring these in here, this way a bit, and down. There we go. And then, there we go. Actually, I need the hands to move with the body, too, so this is going to be a little bit difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was before, yeah, it was too much pause before the snuggle there, Polly. Yeah, that's what, it, that's what it was. Okay, so, in and out. Okay, so, let's... Let's grab, we're gonna have to do this on the, since it's parented to the chest, we're going to 
make sure that these have the same timing as the chest too. So we come in here and look at all of the upper body movements. And we go through and hit all of the other keyframes. So it's okay up to this point, and then we've got to change. And then we have to move back this way. All right, good. There we go, that's what we want. Let's see if we can cheese it a little bit and duplicate these actions. It may not work. Hoping that it will. There we go. Yes, perfect. Got those hand works just right. It's actually holding on to the heart. Good. Kiss. Run over. Glomp. Snuggle. Good. Um. And I'll be honest, at this point, I'm not sure exactly what uh, character should, what my character should be doing, because I have him on this. I mean, I forget who it suggested it, but they they said I should um, hug the heart off screen, like instead of you know stopping right here to just continue and go off screen. But I definitely wanted I wanted there to be a point where the heart was actually held and hugged and I'm not sure if I should go off screen with it or if I should just fade out from here just stop the animation from here hmm. hello hello Ardo nice for you too to rejoin us rejoin Arto yeah. Boink. There we go. Uh, exit with the heart, or should I just fade out? I don't know. I got it. I think 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 I got it. Oh, man. It's 53. It's 53. Uh, can I get this done? Ah, speed, speed animation. Okay, so we hug, and then we should start from this point. We, I want to, want to walk a little bit calmly, but kind of uh, oddly. I want to like wobble left to right. So I want to kind of like be uh, real defined with my steps. So I step left. Right, left, right. Kind of, uh, kind of wagging my head as I go. Left, right, left, right. Kind of be um, defined with my walk. So, so it'd be actually it'd be yeah, left, right, left. Okay, good. So be kind of left, right, left, right, left, right. Kind of wagging my head a little bit. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, good. So we want to actually. I'm going to so left, and we're going to kind of. We need our head to come up a bit too. So the head comes up. And we're actually going to have these eyes open up a bit. So these two are going to be fully open. And then these eyebrows are going to come back to normal ish. And then, uh, well, that's the wrong button. 
rotate correctly, good. And then we're going to have this jaw come on up, back up. Good. There we go. And then now we can have the head waggle a little bit. So, head comes up and then wags. Left. Okay, so left. It needs to come here and then this upper body here needs to come down. Down this direction. And then the head follows suit in the same direction. So, flop. Flop. So this body needs to come out this way. And then the head follows suit with the head going this way. And I think the body rotation needs to change a bit too. So we can't have too much body rotation here, but... Mm, rotate this body back again. Good. So, left, right, oops. A little bit of weirdness right there. There we go, yeah. Flump, flump. Perfect, that's what I want. Good, and then we need to do that for the others too. So, to the other direction, we need the body the upper body to come back the other direction. Good. And then this head portion needs to come down too. And we're gonna just move that over. And then the other direction too. So that's the body. That's the upper body. Move on back. And then the head. Head, move on back. If I remember correctly, Puka said he needs to... Uh, no. Actually, I, I have work that I need to do, and plus it's uh, um, uh, time for uh, puppy feeding. I can't say the F-O-O-D word, else uh, they'll go nuts. So, wag, 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 wag. <laughs> Wag, 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 wag. I like that. Okay. Okay. So, left foot. Okay. Left foot needs to come out and stomp. Alright. So, this needs to come out and step. Step. Okay, good. And then the other foot. Step. And then we actually want to make sure that our foot is fully on the ground this time before we move our other foot. Step. Okay, step. Step is here. Okay, good. And then bring that foot up all the way just before I bring it down. Step, step, and then this one needs to come out a bit. And then this one, right about there, is when it starts to pick up. And you step down. Okay, good. Down here, good. Pick up, just before I set down. Good. Let's get that knee out a little bit. So the knee has to change position from here to here. There we go. Step, 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 step. Okay, step, step, step. And then this one too. There we go, right there. That's where we want to pick up our feet. 
and then step down before we start wobbling over. And pick up foot just before I set down. Good. And then down. Pick up foot. Place down. I think we're gonna place down right about here. I think that's where we need to place down. And then pick up foot here. And then step, 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 yep. Perfect. Now we need to move the arms. Huggle, huggle, huggle. And then we need to move the arms along with the chest. So here forward a bit and then, yep and still a little bit needs to change here okay good and then back then down over a bit good gotta get this done before Oh man, it's already 6.02. Come on. I want to get this done. I want to get this done. Okay, back in a bit. And then just to continue the follow through here. And then I think that should. No, I need to continue to make sure that the arms are at least a little bit forward. I don't need to be perfect right now. And just as long as I don't get an elbow in the end frame. And that tail. Definitely need to get that tail too. Waddle the And then he waddled away. A waddle waddle. A waddle waddle. Kuka, do you render it? With Eevees or Cycles, when, um, I render it with Eevee because I have no ability to uh, do Cycles. I really don't. Um, my computer is just horrible. Horrible when it comes to rendering anything. So I use Eevee because it's uh, it works better with older computers. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, clump. And then... Impact. Okay. There. That's when the tail needs to swing forward. Okay, so. Prom. Prom. And back. Uh, rotate. Nope. Prom. And then this way. Nope, rotate, down, and then over, nope, over, there we go. There we go. And then, should I have a limp tail? I think in the interest of time, I should just have a, uh, have a downward tail that's waving ambiently. May not look perfect, but it'll be something. I do definitely need something on the waddle, though. Something on that waddle though. Something, something. There we go. And then out of frame, good. Okay. Nope, that doesn't work. That does that that definitely makes it look weird. Uh, once it hits 
that point right there. It's not too great. It's like, voop, and then it needs to actually just continue more. Yeah, actually, let's go ahead and get that. Couple more. I guess we could do just a couple more, and then back. Oh wait, wait, that works. That works. That does work. Okay. That works. Good. That's what we want. Yes. Sheep it. Yes, I do know about that. Um. I haven't looked too much into it though, but I've only recently le learned about it like in the past, uh, I want to say month or so, because I was uh, just watching tutorials and people were mentioning it just uh, at the end of their tutorials. There we go. I think. I think once he starts waddling away... I mm, think we're gonna have to change this. We, uh, I'm wanting... No, actually, let's undo that. I think I want to change these things. I want to make this wobble a lot more. Definitely want to make this wobble a little bit more. Grab. Nope, not that one. Grab. There we go. Hmm. It does a little bit. Oh well. I've got to... I think that's going to be most of the animation anyways. I mean, if I had more time, I'd flop the ears too but I don't think that's gonna happen right now. Flump. But I think that's gonna be the subscriber animation right there. Is is this guy right here. Whoop. Take you home with me. Show you to my parents. There we go. Cool. Look, I caught a heart. Hug. <laughs> All right. I think that's definitely going to be it. All right. Um. Raid channel. There is nobody in the raid. In the raid channel. Nobody that I know. Nobody that I followed. Uh, that is currently streaming right now, so I guess it's going to just end right here. Not even Bob, not even, um, uh, Bob Ross is up right now. Not even if I could raid him. Not even though I could raid him. Alright, thank you everybody for joining me. It's been fantastic. I loved all of your, uh, inspirational, uh, suggestions. And, uh, thank you. I will talk to you all probably next week.